Hi everybody, I'm marching two by two with Dear Julie Julie and her Stash Buster March Challenge. But they're both the same, so I'll take one away and I'll show you the other one. It is a two signature, five hole pamphlet stitch. It has um, a cover made with a mailing envelope, the yellow bubble ones and the cover patch. So in this first pocket is just an extra um, card that I made with the extra materials on my desk and I popped it in there. Her signature starts out with one of the tabs with my embossing. I did um, the pressure embossing as one of my two pockets made with my snippet. It has the Zorro pocket that can be moved around throughout the journal with three little places to write. The two digitals that I used for this uh, journal is Botanical Bases and Saving Springs with a little bit of green spring in it. Dyed paper is Eco Dyed that I did last fall. I have my book pages are from a flowering book and I made them all into flops. My second embossing technique was embossing with um, powder and embossing um, ink and I made a bunch of bur butterflies and I put that on uh, tracing paper. I didn't feel like my tattoos turned out that vibrant and so I wanted to put some more tattoos in it so that's when I used the embossing. Put the powders for that. So here's another one. So I did a sheet of yellow and a sheet of gold. This is my fabric flip. It is held with a paper clip and I just put our writing paper underneath that. And on this side is my paper bag page which I always put in my journals and it has a piece of my master board that I made into a journal card and put some of the yellow uh, spring or saving spring in it. This is one of my clusters. This is a beautiful page of Saving Spring. Check out her Etsy shop for all these lovely kits. And this is another one. This one I printed front and back. This one I printed on low ink just to see what it would look like and I actually like it. This is my top tuck and I have an extra journal card so I tucked a large journal tag so I just made it an upside down tag and tucked it in there. This is the uh, flip tuck and I have one of the tattoos on there. This is the tattoo with the two colors and again I just made some scrappy uh, sheets that I had and tucked it in there. This is just a envelope that I had that I liked that I thought I'd put in it and it has my mini challenge 3.2 the tattoos are 3.1 and it has the uh, accordion envelope with two cards. This here is another tattoo. This is the edge tattoo which actually turned out not bad. I did use parchment paper. This is my layered belly band and I have a large journaling card tucked under that. This is my fabric pocket and in it it has a tag with a job which I turned into a little notebook and that's using one of my napkins. This is um, a church envelope and I just tucked in an extra little journal card from my scrap box. And this is the last page of the first signature and it has the hidden journal card and a piece of the snippet pocket again. And that has my embossing and after I did the pressure embossing I just rubbed ink over top of it to give it some extra definition. Signature 2 starts out with some stenciling back pockets with two cards. So again one of the master board has a tattoo on it 
and the other one just is some scraps from my scrap box that I put in there decorated with the flower theme pretty well went through pocket so this is a, my second napkin I, I didn't have very many yellow and green napkins I had that colorful one and so I took a restaurant napkin and I just rubbed the ink over it to make them yellow and green and inside that pocket is something that we had some bases a couple, about a year ago and I just took that out of my stash and put it in there and decorated it This here is the double tuck with three cards. Now there's two here and then there's one on the other side. Again, I use my tattoos to decorate the pop card. And this one is a tag that I put the tattoos that had the edge around them in there. Corner tuck. Um, and it has an embossed notebook in it, which kind of is a waterfall, but it's not my waterfall element and it's held in here as well with the paper clip. I did use a lot of this stencil, uh, this border punch. There's another page that I have my other stenciling in and I did the whole page in that. This is the center fold, double tuck center fold with two cards. The one is a paper bag that I turned into a element with some pockets in it and the other is just an uh, a journal card that has a pocket with a tag in it. I decorated the bottom corner of this stencil page. This is the other side of the double tuck so the third card is got some napkin that I colored on the back and Dear Julie Julie's Beautiful Digit in the digital in the front. This is the green spring parts. I love these two kits together, the saving spring and the green spring. I think I'll use them again together. This is another one of the tabs. Lots of writing space in here. Um, this is the double corner tuck. And the page with, that I wanted to use, the napkin page, I didn't have enough room, so I extended it with some scrapbook paper, put a cluster on this side, washi tape. So in here I have a little folder that has a few extra places that you can journal or tuck things into, and then another journal card that I just made with scraps on my desk. I love taking out my scrap box to do these challenges. And the, this is the other side of the stacked pocket. Again, a large journal card from the master board. A cluster to decorate it. And a small journal card. And the very last element is our waterfall flip. And I used one of Dear Julie Julie's large tags for the cover. Printed on cardstock. And I just made the water waterfall out of regular copy paper. And that is the journal. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all your likes and love and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.